What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. I have something really big to show you guys, and it is, of course, yes, IntelliScreen X for iOS 8 and for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It has been updated to work with iOS 8. Here it is in the flesh, IntelliScreen X. Yes, indeed, it has finally been updated. I wouldn't say finally. I mean, the jailbreak hasn't been out that long. But uh, for those of you who use IntelliScreen X, those of you who really love this tweak, it probably feels like finally because any time without this tweak is a, a difficult time because it does so much for you, right? Now, for those of you who aren't exactly familiar with IntelliScreen X and what it does, basically it is a notification center replacement uh, for iOS devices. So you can just pull down the notification center like this and you get a ton of additional information such as your email, Twitter, a timeline, uh, RSS feeds. You, you still also get your today feed, which contains things like widgets, uh, etc. Uh, so it doesn't eliminate the great information that normally appears in the notification center, but it supplements it with a ton. And I, I do mean a ton of different stuff. So as you see here, I have Twitter, I have RSS feeds, I have email if you want that. I don't use email, uh, the stock mail app, but you can have it if you want that. You also have the weather, you have all of your notifications from all your different apps. There's even a little ticker you can enable that shows showcases different uh, notifications from different apps and things of that nature. And like I said, it also works on the lock screen. So here's the home screen, folks. I'm just gonna swipe over like this from the side of the screen, tap on one of these sections, and that will load up the uh, Twitter timeline or any other section that you wanna load up, such as your RSS feeds. You can pull down the refresh. Uh, let's pull that up again. And then you could just visit all of your different sections right there uh, from the lock screen, which makes it really cool. And you could still unlock your device just by uh, using Touch ID, or you can, of course, use your passcode if you want to use that. But it's extremely handy to have that information at your fingertips at basically any time. And that is what IntelliScreen X brings to the table. Now, one of the other really cool features about IntelliScreen X is the slide feature. And that allows you to access apps quickly uh, from anywhere, whether it's on the uh, lock screen or on the home screen within apps, etc. Now, to access this, you just swipe down from the upper left-hand corner of the screen like this. And there's all your apps that you've recently run. Now, if you want to dismiss this, you just swipe up from the bottom left-hand corner like that. Uh, but I'm going to swipe down here, and I'm just going to launch an app. So I'm going to launch Overcast. Just tap on Overcast, and you see how it launches? It just uh, slides in from the left to the right. It just slides in just like that. So easy to use. And when I want to dismiss the app, I just hit the Home button like that, and it goes away, it just slides out, just like that. Now I can continue to launch apps, so you see Overcast is now at the top since I recently launched it, but I can launch Overcast, and I can swipe down again, and then I can launch additional apps, such as the, well, Cydia app, like that. So I can launch the Cydia app, and I can slide down again, I can launch the Settings app now. And then I can continue to do that and just keep launching apps. Now when I want to dismiss this, notice how it's layered. So I hit the Home button, goes back, Cydia appears. Hit the home button again, goes back, Overcast appears. Hit the home button again, goes back to my home screen. So you see it's layered there, so you can quickly navigate between your different apps. Now you can also pin an app to the top of your slide. Just swipe down uh, to access your slide. Say I wanted to always uh, be able to, I don't know, launch Overcast on, when I'm on the uh, home screen, and I always want that to be the first app that appears, uh, even if I haven't launched it recently. So I just tap and hold, and then I drag it up, and then you see that little line, just make sure you put Overcast above that line, and then hit your home button. And now Overcast will always appear even if I didn't launch it last. So say I launch Cydia, and I hit the home button to exit. I swipe down again, Overcast will still appear at the top, Cydia will appear next. Now you can pin differently depending on whether you're on the lock screen or on the home screen. Now notice, when I go to the lock screen, Overcast does not appear at the top because I did not pin that on the lock screen. They're different from each other, so if I swipe down, Oops, a little too overzealous there. Swipe down, you could see that I have my uh, Messages app at the top instead of Overcast because Overcast isn't pinned on the lock screen. The Messages app, however, is. Uh, so you can see it's different depending on where you are, whether it's on the lock screen or the home screen. So that is really cool. Now, if you've never used IntelliScreen X before, let me just tell you that it comes with a companion app called Messages Plus. And Messages Plus is basically a messages tweak that allows you to... Uh, 
launch the Messages app, compose messages uh, from anywhere, whether it be on your lock screen like this. You can just tap the little Messages button right there, and then you can see you can quickly compose a new message. So you basically have Quick Compose there, and you can just type the name of your recipient and compose that message. Uh, you can also do so from the Notification Center as well, Quick Compose. So I'm just going to swipe down from Notification Center, and you can see uh, the Quick Compose button appears right there. So I can quickly compose directly from Notification Center as well just by tapping uh, that button there. Okay, so now let's look in depth at some of the staple features that IntelliScreen X offers users. Of course, the big deal here is the ability to have different sections in your notification center uh, that you can access. So for instance, when it comes to something like Twitter, something I use all the time, uh, this is really, really, really an, an amazing feature for heavy Twitter users because it allows you to quickly view your Twitter timeline. You can also view your mentions just by tapping the Twitter uh, menu bar at the top here so you can switch between mentions and timeline. You can also compose a tweet just by hitting the little plus button here and tapping tweet and now you can just compose a new tweet and I'm just gonna send out test a new tweet. Alright and I'll just tweet that out. And now, now in my timeline, I'm just gonna refresh it and you can see, there it is, testing a new tweak. Uh, and then all my mentions, of course, appear there. I'll probably receive a ton of messages saying, what are you testing, Jeff? Uh, but that is that. So uh, an awesome, awesome, awesome part of IntelliScreen X, probably my favorite part of IntelliScreen X. And not only this, but you can also uh, tap on a tweet. You can reply to a tweet just like this. Uh, you can tap on a tweet. You can also retweet the tweet. You can open the tweet. Uh, and if there's a link in a tweet, you can tap that and then open up the link just by tapping the link like this. And of course, that'll open up the link that is linked in the tweet. Now, one of my favorite portions of IntelliScreen X, and I know I've said this a lot. I have a lot of favorites about this tweak, but seriously, RSS feeds, so awesome to have. You can quickly catch up on all your news right there from just a swipe of your notification center. You can see what items have been read. The ones without the blue dot have been read. You can tap on one of these links and that will open up the story for you to read all the way through just like that in a nice formatted, easy to read uh, page there. And then once you, you're done, you just tap the done button in the upper right hand corner, and then you can continue reading. And all this can be configured from IntelliScreen X's preferences. And then lastly, you have your today view, which I showed you already. Just is basically your normal today view that contains all your widgets, etc. Uh, so now let's go into the settings of IntelliScreen X. Let me show you some of the settings that you can configure and why this tweak is so powerful and an absolute must have for jailbreakers. Okay, so here is the settings app, and I'm just going to scroll down until you see IntelliScreen X. There we go. And you see at the top you have your basic uh, kill switches to enable or disable on the lock screen and to enable or disable overall. You have your visible IntelliScreen X pages, so you have like your mail, your Twitter, RSS feeds, Facebook. I've disabled Facebook outright because I just don't use that. And actually, I think I need to go ahead and disable mail because as you see, uh, there's no email there. I don't use the mail app. So I'm just going to disable that as well. So you can just tap edit and then drag it down to the hidden IntelliScreen X pages uh, just like that. Uh, so I'm just tap done. And, and now we can scroll down. Under general, you have some general settings like lock screen dim, uh, lock screen blur, tint, date, label, always white. Just basic settings to show uh, and display IntelliScreen X the way you want to display it. And one thing I wanted to show you, under RSS Reader or under Twitter, you can con further configure those sections just by tapping them, just like that. Uh, so you see I have just one feed listed here. That's I download blog. If I want to add additional feeds, there are some pre-configured ones already there. You just tap on them, and they'll display right there under RSS feeds. Oops. Right there under RSS feeds. Uh, so there's CNN. Uh, I'll just refresh that, and then you see all the CNN uh, latest uh, news stories pop up just like that. And I can just add those on the fly, so easy. And if one appears or one doesn't appear there, like a feed that I, I use that you don't see in this list, you just tap Add Feed. You put the feed URL there, and then you can add the feed. So simple. And you can also edit and delete feeds that are already pre-configured. And the same thing goes with uh, Twitter. You can configure Twitter if you want to do that. Um, you can choose 
like different settings and things of that nature. Uh, customize it basically to your liking. There are tons of other settings that you can configure here. I could talk about this all night actually probably. Um, there's a slide setting, so that slide menu that you get right there, you can change that, you can disable it or enable it, uh, and you can turn slide on on the lock screen or disable it. You can whitelist specific apps, um, you can change the default slide gesture, use an activator gesture uh, to show or, or hide the slide if you want to do that. There's also status bar icons, so those status bar icons there. If you had unread SMS messages like I do, you'll see the little notification in your status bar. There you see the missed, uh, missed messages, uh, my mute switch is on, so there's that. Um, and you see the status bar icon section here. You can disable those if you want to do that. So if I want to turn off unread SMS, I just turn that off. Oops, there we go. You see it goes away in the status bar and I can just turn it back on and it comes back like that. Um, so you can do that for any of those. Uh, you can also disable or enable the silent mode as well. And there are additional settings that you have here. You have the messages plus settings. So you can uh, enable that compose button or disable it. Uh, the compose button of course is here in the bottom left hand corner normally. I've just disabled it. So I'm gonna turn it back on and you'll see it come back. There it is. Um, and then there's also things like show on lock screen, manual banner dismiss, and then you have compose activation. So you can actually set an activator gesture to compose new messages with messages plus, which is awesome because there's no quick compose native in iOS 8. So ladies and gentlemen, this is IntelliScreen X. It places so much information at your fingertips, like Twitter, Facebook, RSS feeds, email, your today view with all your widgets, uh, tickers, you have your, uh, your, your weather there if you want the weather. Uh, it's a great jailbreak tweak. Uh, you have messages plus, you have your slide. There's just so much packed into this jailbreak tweak that it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, and I know a lot of people give uh, IntelliScreen X some flack due to its design. They say it's too modular looking, it doesn't fit with iOS 7 and 8. Well folks, the type of people that like this tweak are the type of people who want information at their fingertips and that is what this tweak allows you to do. And no other tweak perhaps besides uh, lock info comes even close to the amount of information that you can get with IntelliScreen X and the amount of customization that it provides you with, all the custom RSS feeds, etc. So folks, this is really one of the best tweaks that you can possibly get uh, for jailbroken devices uh, because of that fact alone. So let me know what you guys think about IntelliScreen X. It's coming soon. In fact, by the time this video airs, there should be a beta available or it, it will be right around the corner within the hours. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. And folks, let me know down below what you guys think about IntelliScreen X for iOS 8, for the iPhone 6 Plus, for the iPhone 6, and all other iOS 8 devices. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.